In the previous video, we have looked into the basic functions of an anesthesia machine. An anesthesia machine receives a high-pressure gas supply from either cylinders or a pipeline system and controls the gas flow to ensure a safe pressure for patients. This pneumatic function is achieved through a graded reduction of the pressure using three pressure-reducing zones within the anesthesia machine. These zones are high, intermediate, and low-pressure systems. The high-pressure system receives gases from cylinders at high, variable pressures and then reduces them to a lower, more constant pressure suitable for use in machines. It consists of a hanger yoke assembly, check valves, pressure indicator or gauge, and pressure regulators. The high-pressure system is usually not used unless the pipeline supply is unavailable. The intermediate pressure system begins at the regulated cylinder supply pressure of 45 psi and also includes the pipeline source at 50 to 55 psi and extends till the flow control valve. It consists of pipeline inlet connection, pipeline pressure indicator or gauge, piping, gas power outlet which is not present on latest machines, master switch, Oxygen failure safety device, oxygen flush, and flow control valves. The low pressure system is located downstream of the flow control valves. The pressure in this system is slightly above the atmospheric pressure and much variable. The system contains flow meters, vaporizers, and its mounting devices hypoxia prevention safety devices that automatically regulates flow of oxygen and nitrous oxide, unidirectional valves, pressure relief devices, and common gas outlet.